Hello YouTube, it's me again, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm hoping that my video capture, it has, kind of. It's skipping a little bit, but I think we'll get through it. Um, I've, my town now has two Dollar Tree stores, one on the north side, one on the south side. And today I've been to both. So there are some, I want to say repeats, but actually I'm just going to show all of it together. So if it seems like there's a lot, there is, but it's because I've picked some things up at both stores. Um, and this kind of amounts to um, like groceries, foodstuffs, and then fun stuff. I'm going to try and do the boring stuff first, and then we'll get to the more fun things. So, um, I'm also going to try not to talk about um, the C-19, but if I'm honest, it has affected some of the things I bought today, so we'll talk about it a little bit, but that's basically, I, actually I'll get that part over with right now, because as we all know, there has been a toilet paper shortage, and that finally seems to have gone by the wayside. Now my dollar store is limited to four per person, but I picked up two at each place, so I now have toilet paper. Just as an FYI, I have haven't run out, I've never gotten l super low, so I've been fine. It's just, it's nice to be able to see it in stock again. Um, another thing that I've started finding again at the dollar store is the coffee syrups. They have French vanilla, hazelnut, you can sometimes find caramel, but that's less likely. Um, but both of my dollar stores had the French vanilla and the hazelnut. I like the hazelnut. So, I really like the hazelnut. They were out for a long time. I stocked up <laughs> versions of the Pace Salsa. So I've got one mild and one medium. I do kind of like a spicier salsa sometime. So, I've got that. Um, speaking of spicy, I found this Heinz spicy ketchup. I might have gotten two. Did I have two? Sorry, I've got a lot of bags near me. Looks like I only got the one. But another spicy thing I found was sriracha salt. That was new and fun, so I'm going to try this out. Uh, moving on. This I can't remember if I've seen this before or not, but they have breakfast sandwiches. Now this is kind of along the same lines as the breakfast biscuits or breakfast cookies that they've done before, but this is a peanut butter sandwich and a chocolate sandwich, so I thought it'd be fun to try those out. Um, I also picked up some sugar-free jello, got two packages. They had all the food now. Nope. Got pickles. This is one thing I actually went to the dollar store for was pickles. Okay. I think. I think. That might be it for groceries. And already I'm kind of surrounded by stuff. 
and we haven't even gotten to the fun stuff yet. Um, we'll start with some of the 4th of July things I picked up. I didn't pick up a lot because I've already got some things. But I picked up this sign because I thought it was fun. It says, Let Freedom Ring. It's a nice big blue heart. Probably hang that on one of my doors. And the other 4th of July things I found that were just too darn cute is they have these tinsel red, white, and blue unicorns. Again, I'm not sure where I'll put them, but they were too adorable to leave in the store. Okay, so we'll go, go on to stationery because I like stationery. I have a thing. It could be a problem. Um, I cleaned out the south side store of these notebooks. The, no the north side one did not have them. But these are the... They're bound, but they're not the hard side. They're the soft side. So I can put these in my traveler's notebook. The purple one says, follow your dreams. The pink one says choose to shine and then the two teal ones both say live happy because they're the same notebook and I think these were like these were in the store a couple of months ago and they were kind of a set of things they had a whole display but I think this was like the end of it but something new that I found are these they're calling them sticky notes but it's more of like a set there's this one which is kind of the greenish blue color and it comes with like a list and then a set of sticky notes I'll get you a little closer so you can kind of see sorry the cellophane's on so it's making a glare but it's very botanical this one is kind of the same, except it's more purple and more flowery. The other one was more plant. This is flower. So let's see if I can get it in view so you can kind of see it. Anyway, those are cute. Um, they, they do Velcro shut. It's just because they're in the, fo the plastic that they don't. Um, something... A little more boring or more organizational as I bought a desk organizer because I've got a desk drawer or maybe just a drawer. Well, it's in my laundry room and I wanted to see if I could um, get it a little more organized. I think I can actually put two of these in there, but I bought one just to see if it would work first. Um, this is actually something that was kind of inspired by my co-worker. My co-worker's been doing more adult coloring as part of her something to do while sheltering at home. And I told her about these things. But I've got one myself, and this one's for her, and it's an adult coloring book. Um, it has numbers, there's a color guide on the back. I'll show you kind of like what, what the pictures look like. I don't know if you can kind of see, there's a teapot, and then there's one that's shoes. And then there's some fruit, and then like a living room scene. Anyway, that one's for her, because I've already got one. But this one is mine, and it is Creative Creatures to Color. Now this is a little more about what I go for. And as you can see, it's very much adult coloring. There's a peacock. Dumb coloring really likes peacocks for some reason. And then this one's like bunnies and that uh, yeah, bunnies. I really liked the one on the cover, which was a deer, so I'm hoping that the deer is actually on this one. Maybe it's the last page, that's what they like to do. I really want to find this deer for you guys, because that was what I was really into. Oh, a squirrel. Chicken. Bambi, octopus, dragonfly, birds, birds, moths. 
bees, more dragonflies, more birds, mice, turtle, spider, cat, there's a bull and an alligator. I'm kind of sad. They don't actually have the, the deer on the front, but it's still quite interesting. Is that it for the stationery? Oh, well, no, there's a little bit more. Um, I actually saw a cheap crafty girl haul this and decided that I had to have it. It's just a little clipboard. But it's a rainbow. It's not wood or very sturdy. It's like a very firm cardboard, so it's, it's pretty cheap. But it was too cute. I also bought some scissors. I've seen these before, but I didn't get a chance to pick them up. But I guess you, I call these like the fancy crafty scissors because they have designs on the blade. That one's like a, one's like a paisley print. And then this one again is the floral print. I don't know. I've kind of been into the floral botanical thing lately. And yeah, that's showing up pretty good. And then I don't know why, but I couldn't resist. They have like a Dr. Seuss um, like teaching tree kind of stuff. Uh, they had flashcards. There was like dry erase, dry erasers, dry erase board erasers. And then this guy, Horton here, is a sharpener. He's a pencil sharpener. He is the cutest. I mean, he's not. I mean, that's the pencil sharpener there. So it's nothing terribly fancy, but. He seems fairly well made. And I couldn't resist. It's Horton. Sorry, I got him upside down, I think. There he is. He had to come home with me. He was too cute. Okay. And now for just for some fun things. They have like some... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what this set is. It's like tropical tiki themed. But it's a little flower headband. And then I bought this necklace with the rainbow on it. Because I've been into rainbows lately. So it's just some fun fun jewelry. Some fun headwear kind of stuff. And then I found these two random things. Which I saved for the end. Because I'm actually going to open them and play with them a little bit. And this first one is Polly Pocket. And this was just randomly sitting on a shelf with other non poly Pocket things. So I'm not really sure if there was display of this and I missed it, because I did look for it. But what, is she supposed to be a necklace, I think? Yeah, she's supposed to be a necklace. Let's see if we can get her open. I know. We'll open up a new, my new scissors. So I can open up my new toy. Okay. Alright, Polly, y'all at the bottom? Alright, let's see how my new scissors work. They work. They are scissors. They work. Okay, so this one comes with a little french fry. And then here's the little Polly Pocket lady. We'll take her out of the bag. So I think she's supposed to sit in the french fries. Uh, if it were me, I'd be eating the french fries, not sitting in them, but that's not how this toy works. There she is. She's a little rubbery, bendy-looking little girl. Oh, so does it pop open? It pops open. Okay. And she's actually got a little clip that holds her in there. All right. So there she is, sitting in her french fries. I believe... Oh, okay. There's a ring. Oh, so are you a ring? You're a ring! Okay, so there's a little heart ring. And if you can see, there's a little heart-shaped doodad on the back. So I'm pretty sure... That just clips in there. <laughs> okay, we'll have to put her on my pinky, because my... Fingers are too big, but now I got a nice little french fry ring. That's kind of cool. 
I did have Polly Pocket um, necklaces as a kid, but this is obviously not that. I wish I could have found some more. That was kind. Of, that was kind of fun. Okay. And so this last thing is called the Mini Booze Collectibles, hand painted. It is by T.Y., which is a beanie baby. And you can get all sorts of different things, and they all look cute. They come in different colored boxes. I picked the purple one because that's my favorite color. And this thing is taped to high heaven. So no wonder they said 3 plus on there. You can't get in there without being able to use scissors. I'm sorry, but if anybody's collecting these, I just chop the box all to pieces. Okay, well, it comes with a checklist. So let's collect them all, plus a rare mystery chaser. Okay, well, again, we've got a little bag. And, no, oh, I don't have to do that. It's perforated. Okay, so what did we get? Oh, it's cute! We got the little princess kitty. And it's got that kind of fuzz on it that's kind of like the fake fuzz. The one that would probably get dirty really quickly. Let's see. What is your name? <laughs> its name is Muffin. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe this will be a game. The next time I go to the dollar store, I'll see if I can find another guy to add to the collection. But for right now, <laughs> from me and Muffin, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.